Okay. I, good afternoon, everybody. Oh, I have this. I feel like I'm a, a tour guide at Disneyland. <laughs> I'm Carolyn Castagno, and I'm on probation. <laughs> it's been 130 days. Um, I'm probationary faculty, and they, I'm somehow I ended up up here. Um, oh, there's Myra. Uh, so I just, I wanted to share with you a project that um, uh, the art department, the three of us from the art department have been very fortunate to have been invited to par participate in called uh, the 56th International Venice Biennial, or the Biennale di Venezia. Um, if you're not familiar with the Venice Biennial, it's an international exhibition that happens every two years. It's uh, been around since 1895, and oops, oh, we'll go back. Uh, it started off as part of the uh, World's Fairs. If you, you're all familiar with these international World's Fairs events, but this became more of an international art uh, exhibition or fair with over 60 countries uh, represented, and um, what else? Oops, there we go, LBCC represents. Uh, so it's very difficult to get into this show. Usually uh, an arts commissioner from a country uh, nominates an artist with, it's very mysterious to me still how an artist, but usually it's you know, very, someone who's been around a while, very established, um, in conjunction with the, uh, there's the large uh, curated exhibition and national pavilions or national exhibitions. There's also smaller, uh, what are called collater collab collateral exhibitions, which are exhibitions throughout the city of uh, Venice. And so that is the show that um, myself, Carolyn Castaño, Stas Orlovsky, and Carol Silverstein uh, were, had the fortunate uh, chance to participate in. And so, as many of you, maybe some, many of you have been to Venice, it had been my first time. Uh, it's a city uh, surrounded by these lagoons by water, and um, uh, every two years, the Venice Biennial is organized with an invited uh, curator. There's Venice. And, oh, what else? Oh, there's over 300,000 visitors that come to the Venice Biennial. It's organized um, at uh, what's called the Arsenale, which is the old uh, kind of uh, the, the arsenal, right, where they would store the weapons. And also the Giardini, the big uh, park where the individual uh, nation's pavilions are held. Uh, our exhibition is entitled, We Must Risk Delight, uh, in conjunction with the Venice Biennial's overall curator, whose name is Okwi and Weezer. He's uh, the first uh, African curator of the Biennial, and his general theme for this show is called All the World's Futures, and he meant it as um, a catalyst or chose artists whose work projected the multiple desires and futures. Uh, so many uh, artists from, well, all of the countries are represented, but many artists with different points of views, more multicultural points of views. Uh, so we must risk delight 20 artists from Los Angeles, three from LBCC is, uh, is still up. You have a month to get there, exactly. The show ends November 22nd. I recommend Turkish Airlines has really cheap flights. Um, uh, it's at the Magaz Magazzino del Sale, which is a uh, Renaissance era salt warehouse where uh, all of us would tell each other, do you know you could still taste the salt on the wall? So it's where they would uh, store the salt um, and right along the water. And so I wanted to show you, there's Stas on the right, uh, bringing, um, the artwork in, right, most of our work from the 20 artists was paintings, sculptures, drawings, some video work. Uh, so not too big of crates, but some of the work from the other artists in the pavilions were giant 
uh, iron sculptures and wheels and very uh, monumental works. And so all of the work that comes to the Biennale has to be uh, flown in and then brought in on these uh, barges. They're like art transporters um, for, right, the lagoon. I, can we, can I switch to the, the video I wanted to show? So there's the work being brought in. back to the PowerPoint. Okay. okay, so you see what it takes to get the artwork there. Um, so I just want to show you some of the work that uh, was in our exhibition. That's uh, uh, Stas uh, Orlovsky installing his work. Um, it is, I don't have my notes there with me, but Stas, you can correct me, a graphite collage with projected animation. And so each, uh, it's an installation. Each installation is slightly different. So Stas brought his assistant to help him uh, install the whole thing. Right? And it uses uh, drawings, right, original drawings that are animated and projected onto the wall. Um, our other artist is Carol Silverstein, who is an adjunct instructor with LBCC. Uh, her work is paint, acrylic uh, ink and paint on mylar, which is a kind of plastic. Her work is there on the left. And um, what I really find interesting about her work is how it speaks to the architecture and the art of this ancient city of Venice. Her work appropriates a lot of the decorative language patterns that you would see in Moorish architecture and the Byzantine um, uh, or history of Venice, right? That you would see patterns in the different churches and buildings around uh, the piazzas of Venice. So I think her work is really interesting in that regard. And then, um, last but not least, my work. Um, I uh, exhibited a video and three light boxes. Uh, my, the video is the, called Mujeres Que Crean, Women Who Create. And it's a uh, video that mixes um, green screen uh, technology, filming, film video, and also animation of uh, drawings and well, and drawings. And it's a video that I uh, began uh, in Medellin, Colombia, where I worked with a group of women who are survivors of the armed conflict um, in Colombia. And together, uh, the women and myself made drawings of birds and flowers that are native to Colombia. And so we made um, the connection of their struggle and their displacement from their towns and villages. Many of them come from rural parts of Colombia, from the countryside, from actual jungle towns. And so as they're displaced by the war, so are, um, so is the environment, birds, flowers, the rivers, and such. The women also, uh, in the video, they recreated different poses from art historical, um, artwork, some from colonial era paintings uh, from Colombia, like this is from a Colombian heroine of independence named Apollonia Salavareta, um, who is depicted with her right hand over her, her chest. Um, other images. And then in the exhibition, I also showed uh, light boxes, which are drawings uh, that have been transformed to uh, like acrylic transparency and placed on a light box, almost like a movie marquee. And they're paintings of the women uh, from our, our sessions working together. Uh, and so these were also in the show in Venice. This is 
the installation at the Magazino. And then a few of the other artists from Los Angeles, 20 artists from, from LA, um, men and women from all over. Uh, this is Alexis Zotto, who uh, teaches at USC. So it's interesting to see all the, the different relationships too. Natasha Prozenk Stearns. Uh, Shizu Saldamando. Natania Batura. Uh, Alexis Grant, and I can't tell who that is. Mark Lacari, thank you. Robbie Canal and Tony De Los Reyes on the left, and uh, Ben Jackal on the right, and uh, Shireen Gerges and Amir Fala. Oh, there are those walls, so the Magazino is a historic site. Well, all of Venice is historic, and so the walls are uh, the original brick and actually a little bit like crumbling at every second. So, uh, and then this is just a view outside of the Magazino. The Magazino is part of the Accademia di Belle Arti of Venice, which is basically the art school of Venice. Uh, and so, the artists who went ahead um, to install larger pro projects like Stas had the opportunity to work with uh, some of the students from the academia to install the work, to design the layout of the exhibition. So I think that's interesting and as uh, you know, professors in the art department here and how we can bring real life uh, world experiences of art as a profession to our students here um, at the college and also um, right bringing this international experience back to them and encouraging them and making the connection of their possibilities of traveling, expanding their, their horizons and how the visual arts, right, it's really visual thinking, literacy that connects, I mean, for at least uh, for me and some of the other instructors, it's not just you may or may not be a professional artist in your future, but whatever, I always tell my students, whatever your career goals are, the arts, visual literacy play into it as a, as a you know, thinking, acting, voting person in the world. So um, that's it. <laughs> so yes, any questions? Yeah, I do have a question. Uh, did I understand you to say that you don't make a proposal, you don't write up a, an idea, you're just invited? Uh, basically, yes. It's um, well. It's a combination. The um, the large exhibition the, that's curated by the main curator Oakley and Weezer is curated by uh, the cura by him or whoever you know happens to be the curator. It's usually a, someone who's been you know making some some headlines or has a track record of other international exhibitions, and so they choose their artists. Um, sometimes they choose very predictable or known names. Sometimes they choose um, uh, people who are less known but are, you know, have a following, like this artist Melvin Edwards, who is ironically the father of a f artist friend of mine from here, and I had no idea, but who was very uh, active or more you know, known in maybe the 70s and has been resuscitated and is suddenly in the Venice Biennial. Um, the national pavilions are, are, are curated by an arts commissioner or a committee, usually of, of recognized professionals in the community. And then the collateral exhibitions are smaller exhibitions that uh, People are invited to apply, but they do uh, have to have, you know, a resume and a, uh, an institution behind them, or uh, you know, recommendations. So it is, you know, hard to get in. So, yes. any of yes. I wondered if uh, these pieces, which are beautiful, which I would thank you for sharing with us, are available. Uh, elsewhere because many people would love to go to Venice. Mm -hmm. I see them, but uh, others, myself included, right. see them as something that I could access. And I wonder 
how the artists feel about hosting days. Is this exhibit posted anywhere? Is there a website or something? Uh, there is a website. It's, uh, well, in few, there's the, in, the artists, many of them have it on their website, but also the show is curated by Bardo LA, which is Elizabeth Batinsky is a Los Angeles curator and it's on the Bardo LA uh, website. Also, all of the artists show in Los Angeles. And so one of the artists, Shireen Gerges, is in a show right now in Venice uh, Beach at Shulamit Gallery. And you can go on Saturday, she's having a talk at two. So, um, so you can see all of the work. Uh, Stas Orlovsky is in a show of his uh, wonderful animations and sculptures at the Pas uh, Pasadena, at the Pacific Design Center in West Hollywood. And it's at um, Projects. Young, young Projects. Young projects. Um, you could see it, and please go see it. Uh, they have, uh, you know, check out the times. But um, so all of the artists are very local, and that's one of the, the points of the, the curator and what got her into the show was usually only one artist or two artists get into the exhibition from, a, and you know, United States is a huge place. This show is a show of Los Angeles artists, which is a big place, but very, you know, rarely do 20 artists from Los Angeles get to show at a, like the Venice Biennial or in Venice or, you know, you know, and so uh, folks over there are very curious about what's happening over here. We have a very, you know, distinct culture, uh, ethnic mix, every, you know, cultural mix. And so I think people around the world are very interested in looking, you know, to what's happening in Los Angeles, the land of sunshine and noir, you know, what, it, what they want to know. So, yeah, okay. Great, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, sure. Well, thank you for coming out. And this is just one of our amazing colleagues here at Long Beach City College and probationary faculty. <laughs> thank you for presenting. Sure. Was so interesting, fascinating. And thank you, the Long Beach City College Foundation and Ginny Baxter for the lunch. Yeah, thank you. And for giving a grant to something that really helps cultivate uh, a faculty family here at Long Beach City College. So we appreciate that, mm -hmm. right? And it's nice to get to know some of the fascinating colleagues we have yes. on campus. Thank great. you so much. Thank you. Okay, have a great rest of the day. If you didn't sign in for Flex Credit, it's right up front. And uh, those of you